our ciabatta is ready to go. It has bulk fermented overnight. Um, it's risen and doubled in size. Um, I have set it like I told you I was going to put it in a plastic bag and allow it to ferment. I sprayed the top of it. I've come in and kind of degassed it a little bit before I took the bag off. And I want the bag to come pop right off, which it did. Pull this out of here, hang on to it. I need to get this ciabatta up and out of the pan and onto the bench. And I'm going to do that. I said it, it's a little bit stickier of a dough than we're used to. So I'm going to try and get that dough up off of my sheet pan. And if it sticks a little bit, I'm going to use my bench knife to help it. Drop it right onto that sheet pan, which I like very much. And there it is. And I want to make sure I'm not sticking anywhere. And I have flour. If I need more flour, I'm going to come up here, especially with this bread dough. Come in and lightly kind of square it off to where I want it to be. So I'm going to come in and divide it here. You can see it's a nice sticky dough. I'm going to put a little on top too. This is sticking to me like crazy, and I don't want that. There we go. Okay, better. So I'm going to come in and divide it. I'm going to divide it into thirds, uh, going both ways, and I can use my bench knife to square myself up. sheet pan with parchment and I have lightly floured it because I'm going to then get this bread dough up and onto the sheet pan which is always interesting. So I'm going to come in here and divide it into thirds. And I'm going to do another third and here is one of my pieces of dough. I turn it over because I want that bottom to be my top and then I score it off a little too each time. So each piece can kind of be the same, especially if you're making a sandwich with it, sandwiches with it, you want it to be exactly the same. So there it is. There's my second. And these are going to double in size, so I need to give them room to grow. And I think I could do three across, which would make me very happy. And there's my third. And that bottom becomes my top. I'd like to turn that over so that that top that was originally in the walk-in gets turned over and then brings, it's brought back right up where I want it to be. But we're, I'm going to get all these divided and separated. And again, I'm going to do third and a third and get it up on my sheet pan. We're going to proof these, uh, get them in the proof box till just a little bit, maybe a quarter. We don't want we don't want completely doubled in size. We're going to kind of underproof it a little bit, and then we're going to head it in a hot oven with some steam. And that's what we're going to do next. Our ciabatta is done. We've been baking at 425 for just about 20-ish minutes. I'm going to let you take a look at what there should look like and then you're going to know when yours are done as well. So I'm going to bring the oven up. Oh, they're right here. And look how beautiful they are. They've turned out just perfect. They've risen. Uh, they're beautiful little uh, clouds of um, ciabatta bread that sliced open will make the most beautiful sandwich. I'm golden brown on the top. And I've done that by steam injecting the oven. What we do with steam is we lay moisture across the top of our crusts. And what that allows us to do is kind of stop the formation of the crust because heat's coming up from the bottom and the top and we want the, the crust to expand and rise as much as we can and we lay water in the steam on top of that and then it evaporates off and it finishes with a golden brown crust just like you can see. So this is a steam injected oven. We added steam for this lean dough to create that beautiful brown artisan bread crust. It's really turned out perfect.